<laughs> Jake Paul is the YouTuber. Okay, Lexi, throw the cushion behind you recklessly. Someone else is going to catch it. Go. Oh my God, it's ahead of a throw. It's nearly hit that lady there. Hello. How are you? Sorry, you're a bit wounded after that. Um, could you give me an activity like swimming or, you know, being a bit of a prat that Jake Paul might, might be doing? Any activity at all? Madam, out, out loud. It would be amazing. No comment. No comment. <laughs> I can see Patrick's manager in the wings going, stop this now! Uh, pass it on for me, madam. Throw it behind you one more time. Beautiful volley throw. What's your name, madam? Is that a madam? Yes, yes, hello. What's your name? Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Don't, don't, don't be nervous. Imagine them naked. Well, not, not him, but the rest of them. Imagine, them. Imagine you'll be fine. Um, where is Jake Paul drowning? It doesn't have to make sense. So it could be a country, it could be a city, it could be a anything. Where is Jake Paul drowning? <laughs> He's drowning in hell, you say. Really sorry. Um, back up, back up to, to Patrick. Patrick's going to do into one other thing. Keep, keep tossing it off. So that's the wrong phrase. Keep tossing it off. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my good. I'm so sorry. Is that hello? Okay, you might get arrested if you cross that barrier. That's no man's land. Oh, you're allowed to. Thank you. Okay. Right. Uh, we'll play another quick game. Patrick. Uh, we have not planned anything at all. All right. No. Agreed. No. I'm going to have to ask you to pop your mic down for a second. I'm going to give you an American half dollar. Um, you can... Oh, Patrick. <laughs> it's a PG show. I, I am a little aroused. Right, now, Patrick. Um, I'm going to ask you to put the key down as well. Just on, on, in, can, can that go in there as well? I don't know. How, is that the right word to use? Yeah, it can. Uh, this American half dollar for a beautiful American. Patrick, I would like you to place that coin inside one of your hands behind your back. I'm going to try and guess three times out of three which hand you've put it in. Now, before you make your decision, face me, Patrick, because I can see behind you and it makes it a lot easier. Um, make sure you make the right decision and you're not left looking stupid, okay? And don't be influenced by the use of words right and left in what I say. Obviously, that would be nonsense. Put your hands out in front of me when you're happy. Good. And just, just bring them around like that for me. Good. Now, Patrick, look straight at me. You're probably right-handed. Most people are. You're smiling. Good. Um, most people who put a right hand in will put it in their left hand to begin with. The head is tilting to the right. Usually means, well, yeah, definitely. I'm going to say first time out of three, it's in that hand there. Open up for me. Let's have a look. Good. That's one out of three. Give Patrick a round of applause. Come on. <laughs> now, you'll applaud anything, honestly. That's a 50-50 chance. Anyone can do that. We'll try it again. It was in your left hand the first time. Again, put it behind your back. Now, I'm going to work out whether you're going to keep it in the right hand or the left hand, or bluff and put it in the right hand, whatever the hell that means, and put your hands out in front of me when you're happy. Okay? And this time, swing it around this way so they can see. Good. Now, you're probably a person of routine, right? Your alarm goes off at the same time in the morning every day, and the smile gives it away. People who put it in the right hand or the same hand twice, it's quite interesting. This is what psychologists would call a B2 character, um, a kind of devil, a creep, if you like. Um, I, I'm sure that's not you, but I'm going to say second out of three, it's in there. Open up. Two out of three, that's not bad. Okay, good. We'll try this one last time. Okay, do it again, back behind you. I will come over here so you know I can't cheat. Do not put it in a back pocket with a word for people like you. Tell me when you're ready, Patrick. Happy? Hands out in front of me. Good, and this time we'll just cross the hands over. Great. There's a thing in human psychology, if you've gone two decisions twice, you'll probably go for the other hand. Put your hands out in front like this. I'm going to say three out of three. It's in that hand there. Open up. Three out of three. Thank you very much. Give us a round of applause. OK. You've got the keys to that box. Let me just recount for a second. We chose three completely random people who came up with, let's be honest, a pretty sadistic, revolting story for our YouTube video, yeah? The box has been the whole time. I've not touched it. I'm going to take the box off. Patrick, you've got the keys to the box. Agreed? Show everybody the keys, Patrick. 
You're sort of parading that round beautifully. Uh, let's come over. Let's come over here. Patrick, stand there for me. I'm going to take the key. I'm going to place the key in the box. I'm going to open the box up. Now, inside the box is something pretty remarkable. I didn't tell you what it was. It was a glass tube with a scroll in it. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm going to take the lid off of the box. Patrick, I don't want to touch it. Take the scroll out. Beautifully done. Patrick, mm -hmm. just to remind you, we didn't touch the box, you have the key, the box was locked. The box has been in sight since I walked onto this stage. We came up with three different words for the perfect YouTube <coughs> title. Patrick, I will ask you just to hold on, just there for me. Ladies and gentlemen, you said that Jake Paul would be the star of this show. You also said, ladies and gentlemen, that he would be drowning in this video. And last of all, ladies and gentlemen, you said he would be drowning in